My name's Angelo and welcome to We Want Picks. We break down full fight cards every single week. We give you our picks, our bets, and our fantasy plays. Make sure you like and subscribe so you don't miss any of our content. And this is brought to you by Earn You. Earn You is the world's first sports and esports prediction game, allowing you to earn crypto risk free. Check it out now at earnyou.com. And Odds Jam. Odds Jam has the fastest real time data integrations to spot discrepancies between different sports books and helping users place risk free bets. Check them out at oddsjam.com. And then next up at UFC 273, we have. What is probably the most my most controversial breakdown this week. People, the amount of time people have spent arguing with me about this fight is insane. We have Mackenzie Dern taking on Tisha Tiny Tornado Torres. And Mackenzie Dern is 11-2 overall. She's 4-1 in her last five. She's coming off that one-sided loss to Marina Rodriguez. And Tisha Torres is 13-5. She's 3-2 in her last five. And she's coming off a dominant win over Angela Hill. Mackenzie Dern, she's an amazing grappler and she's trouble for anybody that she goes to the ground with. Anybody on the ground with her is in some some sort of trouble. Her striking has improved over the years, but she's definitely not a striker and sometimes she's way too comfortable striking where she's just coming forward, bombing away and not even looking for takedowns. And the issue is, even if she's looking for takedowns, she's not very good. She's not very good. She has a 10% takedown accuracy and cue Angelo's rant on phenomenal grapplers that can't wrestle. It makes no sense. I don't know how you can literally be, at one point in time, the best human being. If you look at the planet Earth, at one point in time, Mackenzie Dern was the best on that entire thing at jujitsu. The best. And she just never spent the time to learn wrestling takedowns. I just don't understand how you can be that she was good on the too ground. too busy trying to learn English. I, that's my second rant, which is coming up. <laughs> <laughs> but I just, I just, I will never understand that. She's not the only fighter. She's just the most obvious one that struggles from this because she's stupid tough. Stupid tough, phenomenal on the ground, zero takedown offense. Makes absolutely no sense. Tisha Torres is good absolutely everywhere. She's got very nice boxing. She stays in people's faces. She's a good grappler with good wrestling, insane cardio. Her only losses since 2017 have been decisions and to the top women on the planet. All but one of them is a former champion. And that one, the, the one was Marina Rodriguez, who could absolutely be a future champion. I was hoping when this opened that everybody was going to be on Mackenzie Dern, literally because of the name. But... Tisha Torres actually opened as a medium-sized favorite, and the money has moved. Tisha Torres is now underdog on a lot of cards, or even, and here she's even an underdog on these odds, which is honestly surprising me. Uh, and I'll just, again, I'll never understand how somebody could be that good at jiu-jitsu, not have the wrestling. Mackenzie Dern, if this is a grappling match, dominates. I don't see her getting takedown. She has a 10% takedown accuracy. She's not going to take down Tisha Torres. Tisha Torres is not somebody that gets taken down all the time. She's got crazy fast hands, incredibly mobile, insane cardio. I think Tisha Torres wins. I think she dominates. I got a money line bet on Tisha Torres at this point. And my last little rant, Mackenzie Dern's accent is fake. Somebody spent literal hours today writing full paragraphs to me about Mackenzie Dern's accent. And listen, she grew up in Arizona. Grew up in Arizona. Yes, her father is Brazilian. My parents are not from America. And I grew up in America. And I don't need a translator after my fights. It's ridiculous. It's absurd. The accent is fake. Well, that well, the translator was for the Brazilian fans. It wasn't for her. What are so you talking he could... about? She speaks perfect Portuguese. I know they, they. She was speaking English, but he translated por Portuguese for everyone no, listening. No, George Gurgel was translating Portuguese to English for her. No, he was doing it for. Okay, for shut up. You're wrong. Pull it up, and she's done it in multiple fights. Anyway, Tisha Torres, love the pick. I love my own pick. Pick and Tisha. I imagine <laughs> most people are on that side as well, including you, Jacob. What do you think? Yeah, Mackenzie Dern, listen, former lock of the week. And for the first time ever, Angelo, we have... No, she's not going to lock. Yeah, I'm not. I, 
<laughs> Former lock of the week. I love Mackenzie Dern for obvious reasons. Uh, she, I've called her a number of times the Francis Naganu of the ground, right? If you land in Francis Naganu's fist and your face, you're going to get knocked out. If you go to the ground with Mackenzie Dern, you're going to get submitted. That's what's going to happen. Just 100% of the time, you will get submitted if you're on the ground with Mackenzie Dern. So I am biased in my love for Mackenzie Dern. I, I former locker lead, blah, blah, blah. I think Tisha Torres dominates this fight, and she might even finish Mackenzie Dern. Not like a she's, – she's not a powerful knockout, but I think it's one of those volume up against the fence because Mackenzie's tough. I think it's going to be those – the rest, fight back, fight back, boom, 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 boom. Tisha's just all over, late second, third round, can finish Mackenzie Dern because this fight is not going to go to the ground. Mackenzie Dern is not going to be able to take Tisha Torres down. Tisha Torres has been around the block. She knows not to go to the ground. Mackenzie Dern, she's not that stupid. Unless something weird happens, something like trip. We saw that with the uh, the Blood Diamond and Jeremiah Wells fight where Blood Diamond just – or Jeremiah Wells kind of like fell down and Blood Diamond for some reason jumped on top of him and ended up getting submitted. Tisha Torres isn't going to do that, but maybe some weird exchange happens to where they end up on the ground and Mackenzie's able to get a submission win, a Hail Mary submission. That's really her only chance. I, I mean – in the striking, McKenzie has done better in the striking. Her only losses are the two best women in the division, in, uh, in Marina Martin Rodriguez and Amanda Hibas. And she lost striking battles to both, but she she hung tough. And, and she is tough, and she will be there. Tisha Torres, just her volume and her precision in the striking. She's going to bust up McKenzie Dern's face. It is going to be a bloodbath in there. I, I'm Tisha Torres all the way, and I am very, but you know, I am very biased to Mackenzie Dern. I love Mackenzie Dern. Love what she does. I love Ryan Hall because of his jiu-jitsu. I love Mackenzie Dern for his jiu-jitsu. I don't think she gets a chance to use it. I'm teaching Torres all the way in this fight. Yeah, and I was going to say at least a good bet here would be Mackenzie Dern wins inside the distance. Decision, no action. But that's minus 375. So that's Yeah, it's happening. a crazy. Yeah, I, saw, I saw that too. I was saying <laughs> the same thing. I was like, oh. Yeah, that's not happening. Um uh, we agree here. I think Tisha Torres is great value at eight thousand dollars in DraftKings, except except the fact that I actually don't think she scores very well because without takedowns and without control time, you're really just relying on strikes to score points, and strikes are literally a fraction of a point in DraftKings. So, as as high as I am on Tisha Torres, and I, I have a money line bet on Tisha Torres, I uh, I don't think she'll be in my DraftKings lineup. I'll have to look, but. Because I don't think she gets a stoppage, and you know, just strikes don't necessarily add up to a ton of points. What do you think? I don't know. Last uh, Angel, against An Angel Hill, she landed 166 strikes. If she's able to do that, Mackenzie Dern, as tough as she is, is hittable. There's a reason why you're tough, right? Yeah. You show toughness when you get hit and you don't get knocked out. And nobody knows really if you're tough if you don't get hit. Mackenzie Dern is very, very hittable. Tisha Torres is going to be all over her from the opening bell. Um, I'm not going to play her $8,000, but I, I don't, you know, if, if people want to play it, I, I can see the value there. Yep. Well, Monkey Knife Fight, I think it's more and more. I think it's a war. I think it's a decision. And when I say war, I don't think it's close. I just think it's, you know, Mackenzie Dern is, I'm, I'm trashing her accent and her wrestling skills, but she's tough. She's very she's tough. tough. Her, her nose is going to break inside of 30 seconds. She always breaks her nose. She's going to be bleeding, but she's yeah. she'll probably be there. She'll probably be there late. I, I honestly think that Tisha's going to be able to finish her, but... We'll see what happens. And listen, this read could be way off because Mackenzie Dern, who has proven to be an elite level athlete. I mean, she literally was one of the best on planet Earth at a combat sport. So I've seen some of you comment she's the worst Miss Martial artist I've ever seen in the history of it. That's crazy. That's crazy to say because she at one point in time was the greatest in the world at something and nobody in our live chat could say that. And if she's taken sort of that commitment, those abilities, everything that got her to that point in the jujitsu world and has focused nonstop on her wrestling, she can be a threat. And she may come out with a wrestle-heavy game plan and look good. That is a possible outcome. I would I would love that. If she came out and shot like a double and got Tisha down and submit her, I would I'd be all I would be all over that. That'd be incredible. it is it's literally better for the division if Mackenzie Dern smokes Tisha Torres. It is better for the division. Fresh blood finally living up to the hype. I don't think it's likely because we can only work with what we've seen and what's happened in matchups. And everything we've seen up to this point tells us that won't happen. But again, elite level. Olympic gold medal level, because there is no Olympics, right? Olympic gold level medal athlete in here. And she's still young. She's not old and used up. She's 11 and 2. She's still young. She's still learning. And she's tough. 
You see some of these people with those credentials can't come teach in here. Toughness. You can't. You teach can't. And how many times have we seen people with that level skill set and they turn, I don't want to get hit. That is not Mackenzie Dern at all. So I'm not trying to trash her. I just, the fact that she can't get it to the ground is the problem. But if she focuses on that skill set, she's, she's a big deal. But Tisha Torres is the pick. I got the bet. And I think Monkey Knife Fight more and more is clear as day. We want picks.com slash bets. Sign up, make a deposit. Let us know after you do. We send you $50 as a thank you for supporting us the same and our partners. Too. Look at her ribs. Oh my God, look at that. Is it the same tattoo? It's a heartbeat. And then, oh, but yours is your dog paw or something, isn't it? It's a heartbeat. It's a, to a dog paw. And that's to somebody's name. But All look right, at so you guys. Two peas in a pod. Two peas in a pod.